Blake Martinez, outstanding linebacker. They signed him from Green Bay. Good job by Blake Martinez. Man, good player. Stanford, smart. Does a lot of things well. Then throws an interception to Blake Martinez. Blit right. Dalton back to throw. Giants bring some pressure. Dalton gets sacked. Back at the 38-yard line by Blake Martinez. He was astute enough to see the ball going in, and he got it. Great job by Blake Martinez. Great job by Blake Martinez. Indeed, we now welcome back to the show a man who has led the league, led the league in total tackles four straight years. He's looking to continue his success in his second season in the Big Apple. Please welcome to the breakfast table, the pride of Canyon Del Oro High School yeah. out of Tucson, Arizona, Giants linebacker Blake Martinez. <laughs> What's up, fam? That's the best intro ever. Best <laughs> intro ever. Yeah. I got to show you some love because you've been kicking butt on the field. Now, speaking of kicking butt on the field, let's talk about your defense, man. You guys made several moves this offseason, including signing Leonard Williams to a new contract extension. How excited are you to see what this defense can do and become this season? No, extremely excited. I think last year kind of how we moved throughout the season and the foundation, the culture, um, as the year went on and things started to click, we started to understand more, trust more. Um, it just, it grew that excitement uh, to another level. And then obviously going into OTAs, doing what we're doing now, like you said, adding in all the new components, whether it's free agents or draftees, um, it's just getting them up to that standard as well. Um, and I think the sky's the limit at that point. Yo, Blake, what's your favorite day at the gym, and why is it bicep day? <laughs> uh, every day is, a, is an amazing day for me in the gym. I don't know if there was, uh, yeah. there was something I should have known from that, uh, that quote right there, but I got to go do some better research if it was. <laughs> no, we did our research. Listen, we, Nate said it in the intro. You, have, you lead the entire NFL in tackles over the last four years. It's really incredible. How do you do it? Is it just because you're that athletic or because you don't have to tackle Saquon? Like, how do you do that, and how do you keep it? <laughs> um, I think it's the I have to tackle Saquon in practice, so then ah. everything else is super easy. Um, but I think for me, it's just the way I go about my work. I've always been kind of that technician, um, the guy that, that makes sure his fundamentals are top-notch, um, doing exactly what it is, whether or it's pre-snap recognition, um, once the snap happens, making the right footwork, right read, uh, to be able to be one to two steps quicker, uh, to be able to make the plays all over the field for my team. Blake, it's always great having you on the show. We've, we've had you on since your Packers days. You're now second year with the Giants, more normal off-season. It's certainly not the perfect off-season. What's the vibe there in New York under Joe Judge now that we can actually be in person and kind of get together and convene and look towards a goal for 2021? No, I think the vibe uh, is extremely high. I think extremely happy, ex extremely excited, just like before. Um, the way he goes about his business, it's no BS. Um, he's straight to the point and he's gonna teach you about everything. He's gonna start from the ground up, whether it's stretching, individual, seven on seven, tackling drills, um, team periods. He's going to show you every component on how you started your practice to how you ended your practice on why you made that play or why you didn't make that play. Um, and it showed me a lot of different things that I didn't think about um, in the NFL and when I'm playing at that linebacker position uh, that I can improve on and that I should think about as a whole process from when I start my day to when I end my day that can make me a better player. Well said. I uh, love having you on the show. Last time you were here, you talked about your love for Hercules. Over the weekend, I was in Orange <laughs> County with my two nephews who sat me down, Blake, and all they wanted to do was show me their Pokemon cards. Jigglypuff oh gosh, and yes. the damage and what it does. And it was just over and over. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, but it was very <laughs> interesting. Then Logan Paul, I don't know if you saw, was wearing like a million dollar Pokemon card around his neck before he got into the ring. So it's a thing. It's very much a thing. And I know that you're super into it. Give me your top three cards. I want your favorite, the most valuable, and then I want your white whale. Which card do you want? So... I mean, I'm going to be generic, but Charizard is my favorite. The most expensive is a Charizard. That's the one that Logan Paul around had his neck. And then the one I want is 
So Logan Paul had one where it's a grade 10, but I want that as a, there's a Lugia card and I want that as a 10. Um, and I was actually gonna have, I had that same card Logan Paul had, but it, instead of the first edition, it didn't have that on there. Um, I was gonna bring it today and wear a necklace, but it didn't get in in time. But next <laughs> next interview, I'm bringing it in. <laughs> Okay, okay, definitely. We're going to hold you to that, and we appreciate that. Um, speaking of rare, Saquon Barkley is like a rare Pokemon, and he's also very hard to catch on the field. Um, but, but what is it like <laughs> watching him, one, bounce back from rehab and also managing expectations? Because I came on the show and yesterday. I said Saquon has to be the best running back in all of football. And maybe that that's putting too much on his shoulders and he doesn't need to carry that much of a load because you guys do have talent on that offense surrounding him. But what is it like going up against him? And what do you think about Saquon going into this season? No, I think I think extremely highly of him. Um, I just remember the first day walking in, you always kind of had those little things about his quads and things like that. And I was just like, ah, it's just a meme. And then when you see him, it's like he literally has two quads for one quad. And you're like, OK, what is going on? He's able to to stop on a dime, do things that I've I've never seen before, as you can see on the screen right now. Um, it's just been incredible to see uh, how he goes about his his work. Even now, uh, he goes in day in and day out, making sure he's doing what he needs to do um, to get back healthy. And yeah, I'm just excited for him. And I know he's one of the hardest workers I've ever been around. Yeah, we can't wait to see him too, man. We all feel the same way about that. I don't know if Daniel Jones is a Pokemon. He, he kind of reminds me of uh, like a Woody from Toy Story, maybe. Like, you know, hardworking and earnest and likable. But here's the thing, dude. We don't know a ton about him because, listen, he keeps his head down. He's not terribly gregarious with the media. He's very private. So a lot of weight on his shoulders this year. Big year for him and for you guys. What have you seen from the QB1 that makes you feel like, He's ready. We're ready. We're going to win with this guy. No, nah, I mean, you see him every single day, whether it's when he walks in the building, uh, into meetings, into the weight room, uh, after practice, during practice, all the things that he's doing, he's making sure he's doing those those extra to, to improve on those weaknesses, um, improve on making his strengths even stronger. Um, as you can see out there, he's an extremely athletic uh, player and it's just going to be awesome to see kind of him keep grow, growing as a player uh, moving into this third year for him. Love it. Looking at the uh, the old schedule as we creep closer towards this season, I want to know what game you have circled on your calendar. I mean, not to be generic, but literally the first game. I mean, there's multiple reasons, obviously, uh, to be able to get out there with hmm. the fans for the first time uh, in the Giants stadium. And also, I was a huge Bronco fan growing up, um, and so it's it's always fun for me to to go against the Broncos. Um, so I can't those those two, and then obviously, just like anybody, uh, get out there for the first time with this new team, uh, putting all this hard work that we're putting in now and for training camp. So I would say say the Broncos. Blake, before I let you go, are you guys looking to? make some noise a couple of years from now? Do you guys feel like you're a young team and you want to wait? Or is there whispers within that organization that the Giants want to win a Super Bowl this season? <laughs> oh, we're coming right at me with the heated question. I, I feel you on this one. Um, I think for us as a team, just like anybody, you have a full team of competitors. Um, we're going out there every single day uh, to win the day. And when we get into the season, uh, we want to do just that, and that's kind of our plan, and keep building that foundation, that culture. Uh, and when we can step on that field, we're going to be ready to go, and we're going to compete with anybody. Um, and we're just all excited to get that opportunity and, and show ourselves um, why we did all this hard work for that first week against the Broncos. No doubt about it. Uh, producers, did you hear that? Yeah, Blake Martinez guaranteed a Super Bowl for the Giants. Got there it is. <laughs> um, Blake, it's going to be in every tweet, you, every tweet Big now, starting, starting all day. Everyone <laughs> tweets it out. <laughs> all jokes aside, Put it on Instagram. Man, thank hey, you Peter. for um, ha having fun with us and kicking it with us. Good luck this season. You have been doing your thing, man, and you are truly one of the best yeah. linebackers in the league. And honestly, you don't get enough credit for the work that you've been putting in. And hopefully you and your team gets the credit you guys deserve. Yes, sir. Got to keep it going. Got to keep it going. So you guys oh, want me to come back That's on right, here, man. you know? Have I got to keep yeah. it cool. Enough. Of course. With the, po with the Pokemon. Of course. Card. 
Yeah, with the Peter, I'm, do I'm you bringing have the that same... Pokemon card. Good. Peter, do you have that same I do. distinct I do. memory I... as I do when we met Nate Burleson and then he we were like, let's go do something in New York and he took his entire family to play Pokemon Go in uh, Central Park. Do you remember this? Oh, I love that. He did. He favorite. did. They were oh, running yeah. around the streets of, of Upper West Side. Nate Burleson's whole family playing Pokemon Go. Blake, were you there? Were you in that convert? Were you there? I should have been there. <laughs> I mean, next time, next time, just text me. You know, I'll be there. I'll I got be you. like, hey, I'll Coach Judge, you, I can't go to practice. I got a Pokemon Go event. Uh, I'll oh, yeah, see no, you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> An event. Yeah. An event. An event. Have All a right. good one, Blake. Thank you. Blake, man. we'll yep. catch you awesome, later. Guys.